With thanks to Paramount Pictures, I flew off to Los Angeles last week to see the advanced screening of Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, and while there, I got to talk to three of my TV heroes. Emergency channel open. A hostile force has taken control of our vessel. Put us on a direct course with the Great Barrier. Understood, Enterprise. We are dispatching a rescue ship immediately. Go! Yeah. Three bearing one, zero, five, mark two. Let me do something. Solo. Full ahead. Thanks for the power to go after I. Warp speed. You're on. Welcome to Good Rocket Tonight. Hi, how are you? Uh, Leonard, there's a ton of questions that will be asked a million times over and over again, so let's stay away from those and seeing as this is a rock <laughs> journal format. Uh, what's your favorite video out there right now? I've heard that question before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get a chance to watch those videos. I already don't. I don't, I don't see very much of that. All right, let's get to start. I Trek watch 5. very little television in general. I watch the news. A news junkie? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right. Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, is, uh, is William Shatner's directorial debut. What was it like for you now to not have to sit in the chair? I, to, to not have to sit in the director's chair? Yeah. I mean, it was great. It was great. I like that. <laughs> and how does that compare? It's <laughs> hard work. Yeah, it is, I imagine. When you're doing both, particularly directing and acting, it's hard work. You look through the camera and say, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, go over there, 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 and then you run around and do it. Mm -hmm. You run around back and say, well, how did it look, you know? It's hard. So I'd rather not do both jobs. Now, the outcome. Are you happy with the outcome of Star Trek V? The outcome? Yeah. yeah, I think it's a fun movie. A lot of laughs. Three old guys hanging out together. Enterprise, are you ready? Fire the rockets! You never cease to amaze me. Nor I myself. For us, that place will soon be reality. The only reality I see is that I'm a prisoner on my own ship. And William Shatner, welcome to Good Rockin' Tonight. Good rockin' tonight. Good rockin' tonight. You bet. <laughs> now, we bet before we share What's some wrong? fun CBC <laughs> memories, uh, I, I know you're afraid, uh, you, you started at CBC in Montreal. I right? surely did. Let's talk about your directorial debut in Star Trek V. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Apprehensions going in at all? And, uh, <clears throat> apprehensions? Oh, many. Um, would I be good enough? Uh, will what I have to say be entertaining? Will... <clears throat> The people that I have to work with work with me. And in, in effect, uh, what I would guess I was asking is, will they like me? There was more of a human aspect in this one, I found anyways, than, than the other Star Treks I've seen. Was that your intention going in? Absolutely. And, and, a, and a sort of let your, let your hair hang down type yes. of thing. Was that tough at all to get out of the... Uh, out of no, the, we, no? Just, we just did it. And are you happy with the, with the final result, with how it looks? Yes, I am really happy with the film. The question is, are you happy? I love the film. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've just seen a ghost. Perhaps I have, Captain. Our destination is the planet Shakari. At the center of the galaxy. The center of the galaxy can't be reached. If you ask me, and you haven't, I think this is a terrible idea. We're bound to bump into the Klingons. Differences between uh, between say Leonard's directing and William's directing that you would notice right away. Well, no, they're they're two entirely different characters. Uh, Bill brings a lot more energy to the show that I think than than not that Leonard couldn't, but Bill is by nature a highly energetic person, mm -hmm. and uh, I knew going in that it would be an energetic situation, <laughs> which it turned out to be very energetic. Leonard is a little more laid back and a little more philosophical and in easy about looking at situations and Leonard, but they're both terrific directors. I'm very proud of both of them. What are you doing? In order to lower and raise the shields as quickly as possible, we're going to forgo the tractor beam and fly her in manually. Manually? How often have you done this? Actually, it's my first attempt. Tell me a little about the Cybok character for those that haven't seen the movie, if you will. Okay. He is a, he is a Vulcan. He is the, the son of, of both sides of Vulcan. He is Spock's brother. He rejects the logical self that Spock is. He rejects that fatherly character, too, and goes off into emotion, into in, 
into ecstasy. He trips, mm -hmm. basically, on, on the spirit, on the head. What is this power you have to control the minds of my crew? I don't control minds. I free them. How? By making you face your pain and draw strength from it. Once that's done, fear cannot stop you. He takes people's pain away. He finds that he can do this. He's like a great Christian missionary or whatever. And then he makes a fatal mistake. He says, you will <laughs> do it my way mm -hmm. because my way is good. And so he becomes like the mistake of the 20th century. I deeply regret this desperate act, but these are desperate times. I have no desire to harm these innocents, but do not put me to the test. I implore you. I implore you to respond immediately. There's Canadian connection with us we simply must talk about. Uh, you're from Montreal, and uh, you started your acting career with CBC. Any fond memories you put I, I, I put myself through college on CBC Radio in Montreal. I worked uh, as a young actor for uh, Starvation Wages in Toronto. I was at Stratford for three years, and I worked in Vancouver several times. I know, uh, I know the centers quite well. At least I did. I haven't been there since working this film, which has been three, four years. So. As soon as I heard Star Trek V, the final frontier, I assumed it was going to be the final Star Trek. Is this going to be the case? Listen, uh, two more people like yourself, and I know there's going to be a Star Trek six. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the intention is to continue, especially if this is successful. And the secret to the longevity of, of Star Trek, if there is one? I think the secret is the fact that there have been wonderful stories, wonderful people, uh, a format, uh, a basic format that seems to work, and a chemistry between the, the leading characters. The longevity of the characters, too, that never seems to tire. Star, not, as Star Trek fans... Well, Star I, Trek I wouldn't want to live with these guys on a 24-hour basis, you know, all year round. Don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> but to come back every couple of years and do a movie with them is great. Mr. Scott, you're amazing. Well, there's nothing amazing about it. I know this ship like the back of my hand. It's a great film. Feast your eyes on these prizes, friends and neighbors. Star Trek V posters, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade posters, T-shirts and caps, and these are really exclusive. You stand a chance of winning me if you can tell me the correct titles of the first Star Trek and Indy Jones movies. You must get both answers correct to win. Our address is Good Rockin' Tonight Movies, Post Office Box 4600, Vancouver, B.C., V6B, 4A2. Paul McCartney and Bon Jovi up next.